What's going on? It's your host of Buzz Cooking, Edward, and today we're going to be making spaghetti and meatballs. Allow me to introduce you guys to the special guest of the show, some red wine. So let's get drunk and let's make some spaghetti in the meatballs. Admittedly, I don't know too much about this wine. All I know is that it's a blend. It's 34% Sauvignes, 33% Merlot, and then 33% Cabernet Sauvignon. They say that when you drink wine, you can taste the hours upon hours of energy and effort that they put into each wine bottle. I taste grapes. All right, so while I'm drinking this wine, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the ingredients that we need for the sauce and the meat to bowls. Blurry? No. So for the sauce, you need some tomatoes, a can or two of crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, yellow onion, some garlic, some basil, we're gonna need some cut carrots, some cayenne pepper, I'll let you know what this is uh, for later, some eggs, some breadcrumbs, and then the meat you're gonna use for your meatballs. I'm also doing sausages, and uh, you're also gonna need an assortment of cheeses, including mozzarella, parmesan cheese, and uh, some salt and pepper, and uh, am I missing anything? While I'm drinking this, I'm going to set these tomatoes to boil. So while those tomatoes are boiling, I'm going to do some food prep, like cutting these onions, dicing the garlic, and uh, getting the parsley uh, chopped up finely. I have the onions sliced, I have the onion sliced and diced, the parsley, the garlic, and what I have to do now is I have to bake the sausage that's going into the sauce. I'm going to broil that at 400 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes, and then I'm going to 
start working on the meat sauce. I'm uh, two wine glasses in. I'm, I'm feeling it. I feel hot. I, right? Oh, I feel fucking fun. I'm hot. What? You're supposed to enjoy the taste of wine. Ugh. I'm just trying to drink it. Let's try to make it through this bottle, man. It's mixed with all the beef. So those sausages are going in there for 25 minutes and I'm in the middle of cooking this meat which is going to go into the uh, sauce. do now is I uh, I have to saute the onions and the garlic with a little bit of uh, Botticelli olive oil inside of this pot here and then once that cooks through I'm gonna put those boiled tomatoes in there crush them up and then add the tomato puree and then once everything gets up to temperature I'm gonna add this meat which was drained of all the fat and the sausages that are coming into the oven and I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit after that we gotta make the meatballs So the onions are starting to get a little bit uh, transparent. You can partially see through them, which means that they're nearing uh, the cooking process as far as the saute goes. What we have to do now is add the tomatoes that we've been boiling, mush them up, and then add the crushed tomatoes in the tomato paste. I just ran out of wine. Let's go get some more. You know I'm feeling it because that was a sloppy pour. Sausages are done. They're gonna come out of the oven in one second. I'm gonna add them to the sauce with a little bit of this parsley and this uh, beef. And also, I'm gonna put this in there, which is a little bit of rosemary. And then also, I'm gonna add some carrots. What the carrots do is they absorb the acid, which is generated from the sauce. which is a little bit of uh, pork, beef, and veal. Uh, we're gonna add the little bit of garlic that we have left over and the rest of this parsley in there with a little bit of egg and some breadcrumbs and we're just gonna blend it together and also we're gonna sneak some cheese in there.
I do, which is I play a little game with my wife. It's called Meatball Roulette. And what I do is I stuff the meatballs. Sometimes I stuff the meatballs with some mozzarella. And uh, one meatball out of the whole batch will get a center of cayenne pepper. It's called Meatball Roulette. You make 30 meatballs, whatever it is, whatever the batch is, and one you put with hot spices. This way you never know. You're watching around the dinner table, you watch people eat the spaghetti and meatballs, and you see one guy start to cry, you know he hit the lottery. with mozzarella and one with a spicy uh, cayenne pepper center and before they go into the oven you just want to take the uh, both set of the oil and you want to drizzle over the top of them so they stay a little moist put them in the oven for 410 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes and then after that they come out of the oven and into the sauce to finish off the cook <laughs> are done baking, wait till you gaze your eyes upon these meatballs. I'm going to pop a few in the sauce and then uh, pretty much it's a wrap besides the cooking of the spaghetti. I have a special guest, my wife Alicia, who's Hi. very pregnant. <laughs> yes. And uh, she's going to be judging the spaghetti and meatballs, so I don't have any bias. Alright, so <laughs> let me know how it tastes on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and taste this delicious dish. Mm. Have a little bit of that meatball. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got a you got a flavor. I'm not gonna lie, it's really awesome. It really is. On the okay. on the scale from one to ten, I will give it. I mean, would I sound hypocrite if I say ten? Because it's perfect. Hypocrite, it's really no. Good. Okay. It's, it's perfect. Really good. A ten. It's so good. I mean, the meatball. It's nice and moist. It has a perfect flavor. So the meatball is moist. Mm -hmm. Let me know how about that uh, sausage taste. All right, I'm gonna get some sausage action. <laughs> all right, so at the scale of one to ten, what do you think it is? Overall, of all the the whole thing, it's I would really give it a ten. It's real. I mean, you're a ten really out of ten. An expert. You're an becoming, expert. Yeah. There you have it, people. Ten out of ten. I'm an expert in meatballs and sausages. So there we go. You there you have it. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, put a comment down below, and mm. say mmm, say mmm in the comment. Until next time, buzzed cooking. 
So the meatball is moist. Let me know about that sausage. <laughs>